For the first time, Pleasure Boater travels to the Palm Beach Boat Show and brings you the latest in lift technology, music for your ears, and a tour of a Hampton E70. Pleasure Boater is dead ahead. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Pleasure Boater. We're coming to you this week from the Palm Beach Boat Show in Palm Beach, Florida. Hello again, everyone. I'm your host, Captain Ted Jones. And right now, Jess is going to tell us about this hurricane. This is a 24-foot boat? It's a 24-foot hurricane deck boat. On the back, we have a Yamaha four-stroke 250. It's the most popular deck boat for South Florida. Matter of fact, in the nation, most popular deck boat made. Built-in stereo and everything. You got the nice driver's seat up there. And by having an outboard, you really gain more space, don't you? Gain a lot of space and also the shallow draft on this boat. You can run this boat in 14 inches of water. Oh. Pull right up to a sandbar, drop your front ladder. Don't even get, to get your feet wet getting in and out of the boat really neat and folks I saw it has a manufactured suggested retail price of over 74,000 now now will you cut me a little slack in? I'll sell you this boat for 58.9 at the boat show here now the people out there aren't at the boat show That's if, if they go online and call you what do you do I uh, will keep that same price for a while after the boat show for everybody okay I move with Yanni right now on this Sea Fox 25 footer tell me about this boat nice center console absolutely it's the number one selling center console down here in Florida the 25-7 boat with a 9-3 beam. Okay, and the 300, ooh, 300 horse Yamaha. Yeah. This will get up on plane and go. Absolutely, absolutely. The 300 horsepower Yamaha, very reliable motor. I'm understanding this sells for just over $81,000. It does, it does. Show special on this boat is 64.9. Will you do that with the viewers out there? We could do it. Now I moved on a really big boat. This is a Cobia. How big is this? Thing? This is the Cobia 296, 30 feet long. Wow, nice center console. I see it over top, a top up here and everything is pretty well decked out. Yeah, it's a really beautiful boat. And one of the nice features about it is, and the best feature about it is it's built by Maverick Boat Company. Um, they build this 296 up to the standards of boats that are priced much, much higher. And this has some serious engines. Yes, it has twin Yamaha 300 four-strokes. They are the new XCA motors that come with digital throttles, very easy to maneuver and dock, and the performance is really, really amazing. This is a pretty expensive boat, though, right? It lists for like 180000 That's the list price uh, due to the boat show and factory incentives. Uh, we're, we're advertising this one for one twenty nine nine at the boat show. So it's a lot of boat for the money. Okay, if, we, if they call you, one twenty nine nine, right? I promise, one twenty nine nine. Pleasure Boater is being brought to you by Marine Connection, the ultimate boat shopping experience. And by Lazy Buns. Lazy Buns, you deserve it. And by Concept Boats for performance, style, and speed. Okay, we found the neatest thing for all of you boaters out there. People like water. This is the hauling cart? Yes, sir, it is. All right. Tell me what we've got right here. This is the car disassembled. Captain, this is the basic cart. This is the way it comes out of the box. And this is the way that anytime you want to take it and throw it in the back of your car or throw it down below deck, this is what you need for your boat. Because when you get on deck and you get to the dock, you need something to haul your stuff back and forth to the boat. So you just take it off. It takes you about 10 minutes to assemble it. And to this point, as you put it all together, you can haul your stuff back and forth to the boat. If you have any larger objects, such as a kayak, paddle boards, surfboards, then you want to add the additional options on top of it. That way you'll have everything you need, call everything you go anywhere in the world basically. All right, now I can get these extra option things from you? Yes, sir, you can. Okay, and it looks like pretty good sized tires there. The tires on this thing, they got their own inner tubes. I mean, they're actual real tires. They're they aren't some deal. fake plastic thing or anything like yeah. it. They're real tires. They're solid. They go roll right across the sand, up and down a dock, anywhere you need to go. What about the tubing right here? The tubing's powder-coated aluminum. All the fittings you see are marine-grade steel, so they won't rust on you. All right, stainless bearings, steel. The bearings are sealed on the tires, so you don't have to worry about any of that. All right, if they want to know more or you want to order, by the way, I see this is adjustable here, huh? you got a lot of different places. You can adjust it to different heights. It even has attachment. You can put it on the back of a bicycle if you want to take it, or a golf cart or an ATV, depending on what your needs are. Yeah, I see the little handle there comes off with a pin. It does, and you just there's another little attachment that fits right on there. You can haul it any place you need to go. All right, now if they want more information or they want to order, you have a website? We do. 
It's HollandCart.com. That's H-A-U-L-I-N-C-A-R-T.com. All right, we'll be back with more Pleasure Boater after this. Thank you, Captain. Lazy Buns, the ultimate water float. Lazy Buns is the most comfortable and practical high-quality water float on the market today. Lazy Buns' unique design allows free use of your arms and legs and is perfect for the boat, the beach, or the pool. The Lazy Buns lifestyle is for everyone. Whether you're sipping rum drinks at a tropical anchorage or just relaxing in the pool, you deserve the Lazy Buns lifestyle. Lazy Buns is proudly made in the USA and can be purchased online at www.lazybuns.com. Marine Connection is your number one Florida hurricane dealer. We have the largest inventory and the best prices guaranteed. Like this brand new Sun Deck 2400, fully loaded with a Yamaha 250 horsepower four-stroke outboard and amenities for the whole family. Now only $420 a month with approved credit. Navigate to marineconnection.com or visit one of our two locations in West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale. Marine Connection, South Florida's number one boat dealer. At BaseEgg.com, everything is a speaker. Contrary to popular belief, the base egg is not a loudspeaker. It actually uses everyday surfaces to amplify music louder and with a fuller range than ever thought possible from a portable speaker. Whether it be a boat, a wooden desk, a glass table, or a cooler at the beach, the base egg will bring it to life with unmatched sound. Never before has an individual had this level of control over their listening experience. Get yours now at BaseEgg.com. From the moment you begin dealing with Anchor Yacht Sales, you sense the difference in our company. Our commitment and passion to make your experience memorable and enjoyable is second to none. Whether your interest is safe and comfortable passage making, harbor hopping along the coast, living aboard, or selling your current boat, we're ready to assist you with your boating needs. Remember, we feature new and used Hampton yachts. Log on to anchoryt.com and view our new Hampton 720 Endurance. Welcome back aboard Pleasure Boater. Well, I found something for all of you boaters out there. As a matter of fact, you may want to use it for a lot of other uses. It's called Base Egg. This is Adam McPherson. What do we have right here? What we have is a portable speaker. It works with any device with Bluetooth capabilities or a eighth inch headphone jack. So smartphones, computers, MP3 players, tablets, really anything you're trying to better the sound quality on uh, for an existing device. So you're just using your phone. Exactly. So right now I'm synced up Bluetooth. Uh, this is just, you know, my smartphone here that I have some music saved to. Yeah. And uh, what it does is it's a bit different than a, a typical speaker. We have this driver here on the bottom, as you can see. So we've replaced this, uh, you know, traditional tweeter or subwoofer uh, with a driver. Now this driver, when I'm playing the music, will then, you know, rapidly vibrate. When I apply it to a surface, it'll then transfer the sound into the whichever surface. So as I, as I turn the volume up here, you're not gonna hear much. And then as I go ahead and apply it to this table, now you'll hear the music coming from all, all angles of this, of this tabletop now. So every corner, you're getting a 360 degree sound. All right, now let's take it over to the boat. Here we go, folks. Here's a fiberglass console of a boat, and you can use your entire boat, right? That's right. You could just set it down here on the fiberglass hull. <laughs> So you could set it down here on the bench. Just as earlier, you were hearing it on that side of the table, on this side of the table, you're hearing it on, on the top and bottom as well. So what that's gonna allow is for you to put this on the boat and actually the hull of the boat is becoming the speaker. So now when you jump in the water and dive, you're gonna now be hearing the music underwater um, as well as on the surface, because you're making that clean transfer of sound into the into the water. Just so now you just use your imagination, exactly. just begin to think. I, I personally love to get lobster while listening, you know, to my favorite music. But I'm sure everyone, you know, has their has their uh, their bed. And it sells for how much? Ninety nine ninety five. That's it. That's everything. That's it. That's the whole thing. What kind of battery? It's a rechargeable lithium ion, so you're never replacing the batteries. And State it, of the art. Yeah, just you plug it in and charge it just like any other portable device. Yeah. That's what they use in electric cars and everything like that. Give us the website. Uh, it's BaseEgg.com, B-A-S-S-E-G-G. -S -S -E Folks, this is, I'm buying one of these and our camera guy said he's buying one of these. Better go online and check it out. It's time for Boat Test, a look at the latest models by the leading boat manufacturers. Brought to you by BoatTest.com, tests you can trust. 
Hi, Captain Steve for Bowtest.com, and today I'm going to be doing a full test and performance review on a boat that not only handles really well, but has killer good looks. It's the Cruiser's Yachts 350 Express. Let's take a look. The Cruiser's Yachts 350 Express has a length overall of 35 feet 6 inches, a beam of 11 feet 8 inches, and she draws only 2 feet 10 inches of water. When accelerating, the bow comes up just 10 degrees, so I had no loss of visibility to the horizon. She comes up to planing speed in 6.3 seconds, but the bow takes a bit more time than that to come down again, probably till you reach about 20 miles per hour, which takes roughly 10 seconds. Then you'll be in cruise attitude. For performance figures, our test boat had an empty weight of 16,500 pounds, and with half fuel, two people on board, and test gear, we had a test weight of 17,546 pounds. With a pair of 320 horsepower Merc Cruiser 377 mags turning a set of Bravo 3 outdrives, we reached a top speed of 41.9 miles per hour at 4700 RPM. At that speed, we burned a combined 47.7 gallons per hour while getting 0.9 miles per gallon for a range of 183 miles. The 350 Express seems to handle a lot like the rest of the Cruiser lineup in that I don't find the need for trim tabs or bringing the trim up. If you just let the boat find its own way, you'll be fine. The 350 Express also has very exciting turning performance. When you put it into the turn, you get into that bank, and just as it starts to drop down, it digs in, so you need to be hanging on, or more appropriately, slowing down so you won't be uncomfortable for your passengers. In my opinion, cruisers really came through with getting the combination of upscale looks and performance handling down nicely. That's our full test and performance review of the 350 Express from Cruisers Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. Hey, I found the neatest thing if you're boating or even in a swimming pool. This is called Lazy Buns. This is the guy who invented it, Chris Jewell. Tell me how this works. What do we have here? Well, this is a uh, float made out of closed cell foam. And all you do is you sit on it, you straddle it, and it floats you about chest high. It's perfect for those days in Florida when it's baking hot and you just want to get cool. Uh, unlike most floats, it keeps you in the water. Uh, so you're, if you're at a boat or you're on your boat or whatever, you can hang out, have a drink or cocktails or just kind of walk around. They're also perfect with um, cleaning the hull or the bottom of the water line of your boat. Oh, yeah. All you need is a suction cup and one of these things and you can do it in deep water. I never thought of that. A lot of people do that. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, they're really popular. They're, uh, they're durable. They're made of, uh, they're, they're dipped in vinyl, so they're easy to clean, easy to store. And they're cool. It's got a cool factor. People love them. Yeah, no kidding. Now, they won't absorb water at all. Nope, they won't. Even if they're scratched, they won't because they're made of that closed cell foam. So the closed cell foam will not absorb at all. And it's available in a couple different colors. Yeah, well, actually, we have three colors. We have two here at the show, but we have a coral color as well. So it's kiwi green, Bahama blue, and cor Caribbean coral. And uh, they're, off, they're available on our website or here at the show. And our website is uh, www.lazybunswithaz.com. Yeah, no kidding. I think kids would like this, but you know what? For adults, this is really the answer. It's a heck of a neat idea, and I really like the part where he says, if you want to clean on the side of your boat or something, you can just float around with this. That, that's Boy, that's slick. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uses for it, but I mean, one of the other things is uh, I take them to the beach, and a lot of the girlfriends or my wife, they don't like to touch the bottom. So it keeps their feet off the bottom and they can just kind of bob around and it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, especially if you're not down here in Florida where they have sand. A lot of times the bottom is really uh, kind of yuck, you know, it's <laughs> nasty clay and muck and yuck and everything else. With this, you don't touch the bottoms. Check it out on his website. We'll be back with more Pleasure Boater after this. Today's nautical knowledge question is, what is a mariner's measurement of six feet? For over 25 years, Concept Boats has been building custom offshore vessels known for their quality, workmanship, and excellent performance. Outboard power is more fuel efficient and allows better island hopping in shallow waters. Concept has a full line from small center consoles to luxurious cabins designed for family fun, fishing, diving, and the best ride you'll experience in a boat. Concepts are built to withstand the harsh offshore environment that any experienced boater can attest to. See the entire line of Concept models ranging from 23 to 44 feet at conceptboats.com. 
The Beach Caddy Cart is the perfect solution for beachgoers who want to take all of their favorite sporting equipment to the beach or virtually anywhere. The cart is designed to easily roll across the sand, grass, rocks, or pavement while carrying all of your favorite equipment. Cart attachments are available for kayaks, surfboards, paddleboards, boogie boards, fishing rods, beach umbrellas, beach chairs, and more. The large heavy-duty tub holds coolers, beach towels, scuba gear, your favorite beach beverages, and most any beach accessory. Learn more about it at beachcartaccessories.com. The answer to today's nautical knowledge, six feet is a fathom. Welcome back aboard Pleasure Boat. We're coming to you from the Palm Beach Boat Show. And we're going to talk to you about keeping your boat nice, especially in salt water. Carlos Quinones, talk to me a little bit about high tide. You make lists for how big a boat? Uh, we can lift anything from 1,500 pounds to 180,000 pounds. No, get 180,000, that's a yacht. Yes, sir, mega yachts. And you can raise her out of the water. Absolutely, we do it a lot. We do it currently doing a 180,000 pound lift for the Charleston uh, Pilots Association up in South Carolina. That's uh, basically a big fire boat. But we, All right, we or a it. small boat. Yes, sir, 1,500 pounds, you can do a jet ski as well. Now, some of the nice things about your particular lift is you got stainless steel cables. Stainless steel cables, stainless steel hardware, uh, the aluminum itself is all marine grade aluminum and our drive units are all direct drive units uh, no belts no chains maintenance free patented high tide gear drive units only available at high tide nothing to break that's right you got it trying to make it easy for the end user and I see right here like here's one is that is that aluminum right there those are the aluminum those are that's an aluminum lift those are aluminum bunks so the bunks and then you got kind of a rubber coating correct it's a vinyl pad attached that's an optional bunk you can also get obviously the wood bunks all right and i see over here this is for pwc that is correct that is where our spinner lift it lifts up to 1500 pounds it rotates 180 degrees over the dock so somebody can take their jet ski swing it around on the dock maybe wheel it off clean it whatever they want to do but that's 1500 pounds right there yes sir. And, and i saw that you have a remote control if you want to really be cool huh? that is correct we've got one right on this one right here it's it's our wireless piranha remote control we manufacture those ourselves as well all in-house in our department um, we're the only manufacturer that manufactures our own remote controls yeah i saw it has up down and a light that's right we can wire in the dock light so when you come in at night you can hit the dock light button your lights are on the dock will light up nothing better than that wow they want to know more you have a dealer network all over huh well technically we're represented on four of the seven continents wow. uh, but we are up and down the east coast of this country we're in all the islands uh, we're in the uk we got some stuff going on in south africa we're a lot of places. All right. To find the nearest dealer, you have a website? Absolutely. You want to visit www.hightide.com. You can go on there, click Contact Us. It'll bring up a dealer locator. Uh, it'll send us some information about you. We'll put you in contact with our premier marine contractor in your area. Boy, sounds like a neat deal to me. You know what? Let's go find a boat to put on this lift now. Pleasure Boater is being brought to you by Anchor Yacht Sales, 30 years of yacht sales and service. And by Holland Cart. Haul in all your outdoor gear. And by High Tide, products that last. All right, I moved over now to Concept Boats out here on the floating part of the Palm Beach Boat Show. I'm with Susan Patterson, who is with Concept Boats. And this new 44 is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. We're really proud of it. It's uh, we, we have it in several different uh, applications and all open. And this particular one you're standing on is a cabin boat that we designed or we dreamed of for the Bahamas, actually. Um, we make them here in Miami just a little, for, little bit south of here. We, we wanted to get something as big as we could with outboards because outboards are where it's at today with the fuel economy. Um, with the triple outboards, this boat is 64, 65 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah, and you're going in uh, shallow waters with engines down your three feet, trimmed up about two, two and a half feet. You get over to the Bahamas quick. Well, yeah, you can. You can go through the shallow waters. You can get to the Bahamas quickly, and you can save a lot of fuel doing it with enough room in the cabin to sleep. Yeah, a nice little cuddy cabin up there. Mm-hmm, yes, actually, and a little aft cabin, too. I don't know if you saw that while you were in there. I did, the little single. I would say it rides very nice, huh, being 44 feet? Yes, it's a performance uh, twin-step haul. Okay, now, over here on the other side of your dock, you got a real flashy-looking red and black guy. It's what we've been known for. Um, we've been building boats for 27 years, and 
we've been known for taking the sexy accruedments of the high performance boats and putting them on a center console with outboards for low maintenance, but not losing the sexy or the speed. They want more information. You have a website, Susan? Yes, www.conceptboats.com. And we'll be back with more Pleasure Boater after this. Welcome back aboard Pleasure Boater. Well, it's time for our Yacht of the Week, and boy, did we pick a beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 72-foot Hampton Endurance, a brand new one, and Captain Forrest uh, Roberts is here with us to kind of take us on a little tour. And Captain, I noticed, first of all, on coming on board that aft deck, you've got some things a lot of people don't have. I saw a day head out there. Yes, sir, we have a day head. We also have a dual docking station. We designed the boat that actually a husband and wife can run the boat if they're very capable. And if they don't, they want to have a, a help, they have a small a crew quarters that's real adequate to have somebody come and help them. Inside the boat, this word work is absolutely incredible. This is Macquarie Cherry. Uh, it's an African cherry wood. Uh, there's 14 coats of BASF German varnish on it. You can tell it. Believe me, it's good. Folks, we can't do it justice here on TV. You've got to see this in person. It's unbelievable. Well, we have a combination. The galley's in there, and we have how many refrigerators? There's two freezers and four refrigerators, a full oven, full cooktop, full-size GE dishwasher, trash compactor, and a microwave all in one area to be a, what we call a formal galley. You have a bar back over here. Yes. And it actually also has, what, an ice maker, a refrigerator? A cappuccino machine and a wine cooler. Wow, for, for that. And then, of course, a beautiful dinette. And if you're having a problem with rough seas, you took care of that with the chairs down here, huh? Well, the chair rails are, are just built into the bottom, so when you, you, you pull the chair out, and then you just pull it back. But when you go to store the chair, you just put the two front legs in the holes, put lock it down, and the same thing with the stool. You take this, take the stool out, and you can actually see it. Sure. You put it back in. It's just a very simple thing, but it works. Well, you move down into the master stateroom right here, big king size bed. How many drawers? There's 32 drawers within the stateroom area, and four closets. One of them is a walk-in. This is a liveaboard. Yes, it is. And when you said walk-in, you weren't kidding. That's a serious walk-in closet. We call that the admiral's locker. Yeah. And see, the captain, the admiral lets the captain buy the boat. That's right. That's the way it works. That's why it works with me, you know. And, and, and I see out here in the companion way, you've got a washer and a dryer full size. And GE. Yeah, no and, kidding. And it's a, 240, it's a 240 volt system, just like you would have at home. Now, you have two other staterooms. Yes, they're, they're forward. There's a, a, a VIP queen. And then there's two bunk beds that are uh, split so that uh, a lot of people we found didn't want the over and under, so we got them side by side. You have flat screen TVs. Every room. There's, this Every boat room. has eight televisions on it, as well as five heads and five docking stations. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, well, this is what I would call the boat deck. And let's start out and show you some of the amenities out here, Captain. What do we got here? Well, we, over here we have a uh, barbecue. Here we have a sink. Over here we have a refrigerator ice maker that uh, a typical U-line, and a, we have a docking station up here. And let's talk about this docking station just a minute. Tell me about this. This is the JMS uh, system that uh, we've added to the, uh, the controls. Instead of the standard normal backup and, and thruster controls you have here, this makes it really, really simple, for especially for someone who's just starting out and new to boating. They push the control button, you get green lights there, you push the button here, you get another green light, and now this simple joystick here is a full control. Forward, backwards, sideways, sideways, and if you want to turn the boat, all you do is rotate this. Now you're turning both propellers and both thrusters at the same time. Right, this is not the pods. Boat. These are not pods. She will cruise at what? Well, I would say that they cruise the boat at uh, 16 to 18 knots, okay. depending on how much fuel you want to burn. But this is a special hull. This is called a hybrid hull. We've designed the boat to run at eight to 10 knots and be very, very, very fuel efficient, something like you would consider a Nordhaven or a displacement boat. Wow. Or what happens with the second set of chines, if you have enough horsepower, the boat will actually lift 
And now remember, this boat's almost 140,000 pounds, yet with 1,150 horsepower engines, it has a top speed of just under 22 knots. Oh man, that's and, incredible. And that's an incredible amount of speed for that much weight. And I imagine if you're if you're up at that speed, up on a plane like that, going, you probably burn about 150 gallons an hour. Absolutely not. Uh, the boat running uh, at 17 knots is burning 64, 65 Get gallons. Out. Yes, that's a that's very, very incredible, efficient, very efficient haul. So what is it doing at eight knots? Uh, eight knots is burning six and a half, seven gallons an hour. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's yeah. unbelievable. Show me the. What do we got down here? Well, this is. Uh, you know, you've got a big hard top. You've got areas to clean up there. You've got equipment up there. So to get up there, you need to have a ladder. So we designed this compartment here that opens up, and you have a stainless steel ladder that is t telescopes. It opens up and hooks to the two brackets on the hard top there for safety. Okay, we, folks. Uh, you've got to come and see one of these yourself. We're just about out of time this week on Pleasure Boater, but I know everybody wants to know how much. This boat is four million twelve thousand. As you see, it comes complete with all the linens, towels, silverware, electronics. Has two options: water maker and a tender. Everything else is standard. We've run out of time this week for Pleasure Boater. Until next time, I'm Captain Ted. So long, everyone.